Alright friends, welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose Laravel 9 and V3 application and today onwards we'll be working on an appointment module and on this video we'll be working on adding appointment model migrations and factories and also we'll be adding the design for this specific appointment page so let's get started first of all let's work on adding the design on this uh, appointment page so for that I have created uh, the file for the design and you will find that inside of resources views stops appointment list.blade.php file so let me copy this design from here and let me go to list appointments.view file and let me replace this part with the copied one and if I save this uh, let me come back over here and we see this beautiful design this is perfect now let's work on adding model migration and factories for appointment module so for that we can simply do PSP artisan uh, make me a model uh, before creating the appointment we need client as well so first of all let's create the client model with migrations and factory and similarly let's create the model for appointment using uh, make me a model for appointment with migration and factory and these are created so let me go to create clients uh, table and for now let's just add uh, first name last name and email for the client so we can do first name table spring last name and then spring email and now let me go to create appointments table and over here let's add title appointment description uh, timestamp with start time and another timestamp with end time and finally let's add a tiny integer for status and also we need to add a client id as a foreign key so let's do that over here table foreign id client id and let's add a constraint now let me run psp artisan migrate and these two tables are created successfully now let me go to client factory and inside this written array let's uh, return some dummy data using faker so for that we can do first name is this faker first name last name is this faker last name and email is this faker save email and now if i do psp artisan tinker and let's do client factory create then one client got created successfully using the dummy data let's do the same for appointment factory as well instead of this written we have title and for title let's do faker sentence we have description this faker paragraph and we have start time and time start time let's do this faker let's use date time between function and it will select between minus one year and plus one year and let's save this as start time so that we can use that instead of end time and time sorry start time add 
hours too and before that we need to parse this using carbon carbon parse let's import this and finally we need to add the status let's add a random number between 1 and 3 for the status as we are using tiny integer right now let me close this and run PSP artisan tinker again and let's do appointment factory and then create and we are getting this error let's do app models appointment factory create and we are getting client IDs does not have a default value so we forgot to pass client ID here so for client ID let's do client factory create the client first and get the ID now let me close this run PSP artisan tinker and again let's run that same command and appointment got created successfully which is perfect and in the next video, we'll be displaying the list of appointments based on those hard dummy data. So I hope this video was helpful for you. So till then, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel as I'll be uploading the videos like this. So have a great time and I will see you on the next one.